Hello everyone, in this video we'll talk about omega-3 versus omega-6 balance in our diet. If you are a diet conscious individual, you might have come across these terms omega-3 and omega-6. Chemically speaking, these are polyunsaturated fatty acid, meaning they have multiple double bonds in them. People have a misconception. They think omega-3 fatty acids are the best and omega-6 are bad. But this is completely wrong. In fact, omega-6 fatty acid is much better than saturated fatty acids that we can find in butter, palm oil or in animal products. Omega-6 fatty acid, if consumed in moderation, can be good for heart health. It should not cause any problem. But the problem occurs when you have a altered balance between omega-3 and omega-6s. Major source of omega-6 is vegetable oils. Otherwise, it can also be found from animal sources, seeds and nuts. Balance between omega-6 and omega-3 is absolutely essential in our diet. Indeed, our ancestor ha has a proper balance between omega-6 and omega-3s. But these days, we consume more omega-6 and less omega-3. Current Western diet contains 20 times higher omega-6 compared to omega-3. And that's pretty daunting. So next time when you think about eating a burger, think twice. Earlier, we used to focus on uh, natural products like we, our ancestors used to hunt and gather fresh food so their balance was maintained. But when we are consuming packaged product like this burger, we are consuming more omega-6 compared to omega-3. So next time when you eat the burger, I would let you know that there are tons and tons of omega-6 in these fried and deep fried products. So let me tell you that Mediterranean diet is specially enriched in omega-3 because they have a lot of oily fish, olive oils in that particular diet. Compared to a Western diet, omega-3 containing Mediterranean diet is much healthy. Omega-3 is good for heart health, inflammation in context of cancer, joint health, depression, and it's also good for pregnant women. A recent study found out that the incidence of death per 100,000 individual for a heart disease is way more in US population compared to Spain. So Spain follows a Mediterranean diet whereas US population is generally consuming processed food enriched in omega-6. So what we learned, omega-6 and omega-3 balance is absolutely essential. Now when there is a disbalance between omega-3 and omega-6 and omega-6 is increased, it also increase the risk of heart disease, inflammation, high blood pressure, and it might lead to vasoconstriction as well. So what is the solution? Simple solution is to reduce the consumption of omega-6 and increase the consumption of omega-3 in our diet. Omega-6 fatty acid such as arachidonic acid is the base material to create prostaglandins. Prostaglandins are key mediators of inflammation. Now let me tell you that prostaglandin is synthesized by a complicated process but the key enzyme in this process is positively regulated by omega-6 fatty acid and negatively regulate omega-3 fatty acid. That's why we tell omega-3 fatty acid is anti-inflammatory whereas omega-6 is pro-inflammatory. Now arachidonic acid can be converted into other substances like prostacyclines also thromboxins. Thromboxins are, are compound that can lead to vasoconstriction. That means constriction of the blood vessels. This might increase blood pressure and that could be detrimental for us. It would increase the chances of heart attack. Arachidonic acid, which is an omega-6 fatty acid, can also give rise to leukotrienes. Leukotrienes can have adverse effect on our alveoli and also in our bronchioles. So it leads to bronchoconstriction that means it increases the chance of developing asthma. That means several omega-6 products are pretty harmful for us. It leads to many uh, problems in our health. Generally, omega-6 is not harmful. If the substances that are generated from omega-6 fatty acid are overproduced in the body, that would lead to the danger. That simply means, or moral of the story is, balanced intake of omega-3 and omega-6 is really important for a healthy life. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.